When speaking to educational apps specifically, they should definitely make sure that it's fun and engaging. People often think that you know education <laughs> does not mean play, but really they should never be mutually exclusive. Children learn best through play, especially at the preschool age. So we want an app that is fun. We want them to be excited about learning. And technology and touchscreens is actually a great platform to encourage that excitement and make learning a game and make them excited about learning in school. Not all apps are created equally. So it's really up to the parent to do, to do the research behind it and to look at sites. Um, we recommend Common Sense Media to look at reviews and they have reviews there by experts and also by other parents who have used the apps. Don't trust that just because an app has a lot of downloads on the iTunes store that it's a good quality and educational app. Um, you should also look at the information section to parents. A good app will include one. If the app is missing that, that's a sign already that it might not be a great app. Apps started as being kind of free downloads as it was a new area, and people aren't really in the mindset of paying money for apps yet. But if you think about it, if you were to go into Target and look at the toy aisle, you'd have no problem spending $20 on an educational toy for your child. But you would never really spend $20 on an app that might have content that's just as good, <laughs> if not better, than that $20 toy. The science behind apps and be how children learn through interactions has also increased a lot for the past few years. We have labs now dedicated to investi investigating how children can learn through touchscreen technologies. And that is crucial because there's only so much that developers can do in terms of testing how kids are using it. They really need research from universities, um, from labs, showing how children can learn that will then drive um, what they do and how they develop.